Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Supreme Connection with your host, DJ Supremo. Before anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming to you every week with special guests. Today I am with Sergio and Jerry, and today we're gonna talk about quinceañeras. A lot of people are used to m many traditions and they are pretty much old school, just like me, and they like sticking to old school. Yep. I noticed that when we have customers come to Supreme Media Studio, they really don't have no idea of the Supreme experience until we show them an example of what we do here. And so a lot of people ask me like, what's your price? And so I typically don't like, you know, when they message me or when they just ask me blank, you know, blank, like, what's your price? I don't like to tell them, oh, it's this much or, oh, it's that much. The reason why I don't like to do that is because it's what I, what I, what we want to provide and what we want to be able to offer is more than just a price tag. It's, it's, I believe that um, when, you know, explaining things because sometimes like, oh, like, you know, X amount of money, you know, it, it, that's too much money. That's too much money, but they don't really understand what they're getting. And, and that's honestly like, and I want to say nice. seven out of 10 people are like, oh, like this is the last thing I gotta, I gotta get. They don't budget for it. In reality, like I have a lot of customers, I, I tell my customers like, the photos and the video, what you receive, that's like, that's the only thing that's gonna last. You know, you might have a really nice venue. You might really have, have a really nice dress, a really good food. Um, you know, a really nice band or a really op, you know popular band, but nothing. That, once the five hours of the reception are over, that's it. The like, game. You, you go home and then you're like, man, I'm I'm negative twenty thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars. Like that's, that's it. And so like then you're expecting your moments to be captured, right? And I that's what I tell people. Like, do you want somebody who who you got last minute because you had no other choice? Or do you want somebody that you know that they're gonna be able to capture the day ex uh, exactly how you want it? And that's, and that's what I try to sell. Like, I will, I, we wanna be able to offer the services and exactly the way you want me to capture your special day. Oh yeah, so people people back then used to, um, you know, they lacked storytelling. They, it was just kind of one of the things that they, they started from, you know, whenever that thing just started rolling and then, you know, they would just stop recording and then when they saw something else, they would record and stop recording and record and stop recording. And so it was just kind of like, it was just, they recorded whatever whatever it is they got. Because it was more like a home video. Yeah, it's a home that, video. That kind of idea. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, I remember back in the day, it was like clients focus more on like what you said earlier, the photos and like the video. If they had, if they got the video, it, they were good with it. If they didn't, they really didn't care. It was all right. Know? It was whatever. Yeah, because it wasn't a big push. Like it wasn't that important. More important back then was like the photo. The venue, the decoration, the time, yeah, the walls, the limo, presentation, the limo. The limo. <laughs> like, there was a lot of things that were more important than you know. Oh, the video! If we get the video, we get it. Yeah. But like evolution, like. And, and, I, and I think it all had to do a lot with the whole smartphone stuff. The smartphone just because back then there was no smartphones. There was a flip phone. You know what I mean? Like you, the best, the best that, you got was the brick size. <laughs> yeah, Nokia. Yeah, <laughs> so I think I think that's what I, I think that's what really revolutionized the whole video portion, where it just you know cell phones started to be able to take video, and video starts is something that started interesting people. I don't know, I may be wrong, but video, social media. Yeah, it's a good platforms like YouTube. And check this out, uh, back in the day, let's say you had a relative that couldn't assist for whatever reason, couldn't assist your quinceanera Too or bad. event, <laughs> right? Well, now you had to think of a way to send them a copy of a big old VHS tape. Make the copy right? and send it. Yep, yep, yep. And hoping that the quality was the same. No, no, it was, right? it was terrible, dude. Like Now, with social media platforms, you upload it, and then yeah, well, anybody can in see the it world in the same resolution. Right? Like we're going back to like filmmaking and talking to you about what filmmaking is. Um, well, we we try to tell a story. We try to have this experience that this this person, this quinceañera, is gonna have. Right? Um, the illusion. Most of the little girls, like you were talking about, your your five year old, um, that she's already planning her quinceañera, right? Yes. And every once in a while, we'll, we'll meet a uh, we'll meet a little girl that has that elu that dream of, yeah. of her quinceañera, 
and she's just like, she comes into the office and she comes in and sits down and then we start talking to her about how we work and what our video entitles and how we, what, how we need her participation in order to make the best uh, story story for her and the best like the best experience like of what she who she is right up to the point of her quinceanera and they get excited I mean it's, it's just something that they're, they're like interested and they want to do it of course and it's because, their special day yeah and it's because of their special day and we also try to like incorporate like um, life experience like a sport uh, an elective they have if they do dance whatever they do and try to like Let's find out, let's see what they're doing, right? And try to incorporate this story into their wedding, their wedding, their quinceanera day. Right? Right? Almost, almost wedding. Yeah. Almost, the, the, almost the, money, wedding. The, the money is up there, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's no, as, it's just as expensive, but. Yeah, and it's, and it's one of those things like, there's also the flip side, where so, there's signs where the quinceanera doesn't want you, doesn't even want a quinceanera. They just, it's the parents <laughs> wanting the quinceanera. And so, and then so those videos, I mean, we, we, we want to, we want to make, maximize the experience. I do not want to make a highlight video for them. I want to make like the best thing I can make. So when they view my video that I created, they have the best viewing experience. Of course. The best thing, like the, what they can say, you know what? Thank you, Supreme Media yeah. for doing what you did. You know, you guys did an excellent job. Now I have this forever. Like, and we want to, we want to be able to produce something that will be something that where they can watch in 10 years and they'll be still have a blast. Like they'll still like it. They'll still want to like rewatch it over and over again. And so like when I sit down and I talk to my clients, I, I tell them like this requires participation. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of videographers, a lot of photographers that are, you know, I'm just gonna say like starting new, right? But if they're starting new, they, they don't know, or, you know, the way I see it is that I'm interviewing the client because let's let's be real, like not every customer is for us. Or, you know, not every customer is for you as a DJ, not every customer. Not everybody wants the video we're trying to make. Exactly, because not everybody wants the video that, that we want or the photos that we take, the style, or maybe not everybody wants the price, right? So those are factors that play in whether they hire us or not. But then also, there's also the flip side where I tell them like, this is what I require from you. This is gonna be something that, that, that you guys are gonna have to put some effort into. It's gonna require a lot of effort from you guys, from your family. It's not just you and the quinceanera. It's, it's not just the quinceanera, it's the family. This is a family experience. A lot of, like if, if, if you, the if there's only if there's their only daughter, this is the only chance you have. Like there's one shot. One shot. You you get one time to do this, and if this is it, this is it. Like you know, there's no more opportunities. So you're only 15 once, and you only do this once, right? So I tell them like you know, if you guys are willing to do this, then then let's proceed. But I have to. I understand that when people walk through the door and I explain all this to them, maybe they don't want to do it, and that's okay. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, like I tell people, I don't want to force you into hiring us, into booking with us, and I'm not gonna force any package that you don't want to do, right? And I'm not gonna force this on you because then you're gonna feel that I'm ripping you off or you're, you're being, you know, you're not getting your money's worth out of it, and that's what I don't want. So I, you know, sometimes you have to part ways with, with, with doing business that way, just because, there's for, there's people that I know that that get anybody, you know what I mean? They, they they'll get any customers just just to get work. And I would rather, me personally, I would rather work with somebody that I enjoy working with, even though I work less events a year. But I would rather every time I work, enjoy the people that I work for. Yes, yes. Um, even in my situation as a DJ, um, sometimes I have different packages for for my customers. And they say, oh, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm expecting 50 guests and uh, I want your basic setup. But then all of a sudden that 50 guest list turned into 100 guests, 150. I cannot rock the house with a basic setup for a party of 200 people. Yeah. Right? So a lot of the times uh, customers 
want to, you know, save money in the process, but it's not about that all the time. Yeah, but at the end, if you show up with the basic setup there, I'd be like, you know, who is, who's this DJ? You know what I mean? Where, did you get, where did they get this DJ from? You know what I mean? Not, o- not only that, um, I'm a true believer. If you want people to come to your party and stay committed and stay till the end, it has to be popping, you know? I mean, there's parties that you go and it's, you know, nine o'clock and people want to go home because because yeah. because the, the music, boring. the music is terrible. Right. Yeah, that's... I mean, as a DJ, you're focused on. All right. Let me get this party hyped up. People are dancing and play. The, let me play this playlist or the song, whatever. But, you know, just like anything else, photography, it's, you know, it's important. You know, the, the video, the music. Right. So if you're going to have a party, I suggest you look at all those factors, you know, just not not to save a couple of bucks. <laughs> you're going to leave one good thing out, you know, when everything is included, you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah, part of it. I guess some of, some, of, some of the people like we see and we know, like, I start calculating how much money people spend on, a, on an event. <laughs> we get to the event yeah. and we're like, hmm, okay, okay, so this, this venue, <laughs> this venue costs this much, the dress, <laughs> like, look at the dress. And you start looking at prices and stuff like that and you're kind of familiar. And so, I mean, if you are willing to spend enough money for like a venue, a good venue, get a good photographer, get a good videographer that that will capture that correctly, right? Yeah, and and not 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 because you're cheap doesn't mean you're not good, and not because you're expensive means you're really good. Yeah. So, so it has it has a lot to do with like the videographer himself. So like the suggestion is like look into the person, um, look into their work, look into like what they're doing and if that service is right for you yeah. or that style is right for you. Like what Jerry's saying, like not everybody fits the package, not everybody, we can't do everybody's quinceanera, not everybody's gonna want to. Um, it, exact thing goes like for like the DJ business, right? Not everybody's gonna fit what you provide, right? Because it's a service, at the end of the day, it's the experience, how you uh, perform at that at that party. Yeah, and, and a downside like that I see a lot happening um, which I actually have in, in my in our contracts is like like I've I've been to quinceañeras I've been to I've been we've been hired you know when we first started where people deceive you like your clients will deceive you they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll will t- they will they will tell you one thing and when you get to the event it's something else and you're kind of like stuck there man like what should I do should I just do it anyways and you know that way I don't get a bad review or you know what I mean or shamed on or or look, you know, like not a professional or whatever. And so like, I, you know, I've had events where like, they hire, oh yeah, it's my daughter's quinceanera. And then all of a sudden it's like two quinceaneras, like two daughters, two, you know, <laughs> it's just kind of like- The neighbor, I, I really kind of Yeah, and then I like plugged her, plugged her in. Yeah, and it's kind of like, okay, well, I, I would have liked to know, you know what I mean? Because then at that point, you know, not that I was gonna charge more, it's just that I, like to have communication and that's one of the things I stress a lot to my clients is always tell me up front like I'm we're, we're pretty lenient re- in reality when when I when you put into perspective like like other photographers that I that I've you know seen on the internet and, and on YouTube and stuff like that like I've seen I've seen some people that are pretty strict with the rules and how they do things and some people expect like oh we're gonna do it this way if it's not this way it's no way you know what I mean? And the, they'll tell the client, like, all right, I'm out. Like, you know, you only get 20 minutes to these two photos and, and 20 minutes is done. And I start shooting at a specific time, you know what I mean? And so like, we're pretty lenient in regards to that. And so, I, you know, I always tell my clients, like, don't just be upfront. Don't, don't, don't tell me one thing and then it's another, you know? So, and, I, and I'm pretty sure it, it's happened to you. It happens all the time. And it's because people want to save money. You know what I mean? People want to save money and, and I get it, but you also have to understand that, you know, I pay bills with, with, with what I make. That's just the reality. No, no, it's not about saving money. I mean, if you're going to throw a party, I mean, if you, have, you have to have a budget, right? I yeah. mean, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, you only have, what, 15 years to plan for it? <laughs> <laughs> only 15 years. Right? Only, only. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Now, um, how important would you say timing is? Because I know that a lot of the times, you know, uh, you were supposed to take pictures of a certain scene or whatever at a certain time and the whole crew is running behind 
two hours sometimes. As far as timing, like when they should, like we, are you talking about like when they should yeah. hire us or the no, day no, of? No, the day of when you're, you're we're shooting and uh, they're not even there when they were supposed to be well, at a certain I mean, that really, that really just falls back on the client. I mean, that's why like I try to, like if they don't have an event planner, which I recommend you get it. You, even they, for a quinceanera. Even for a quinceanera. <laughs> One, you know, you can you can hire an event planner for you know a couple of thousand dollars or you know, I don't know, like fifteen hundred bucks. I I I've met people that charge that to just and really all they do is you know they they do. I'm pretty sure they do more. But what what the general idea is to like coordinate the event, you know, get get you um, vendors that will help you with whatever it is you need and kind of just help you out in planning the event, right? And so that really is a lot of stress because a lot of people on the day of the quinceanera, the parents. They're all over the place. They're, you know, dad's trying to take the liquor and all the food to the venue. The mom's trying to get the the the, the quinceanera ready. The grandma, if if you know they're they're there, they'll they'll, they'll help out whatever they can. And that's just really much how it is. Um, and so to us, it's very important to be on time. Uh, you know, punctuality is very important. So if you don't, if our my clients don't have an event planner or the re, or the event venue, sometimes the event venue they'll they'll plan out the reception for them and they'll kind of like guide it for them. So if they don't have that, I I always like to um, set up a, a schedule. You know, have sit down and kind of just okay. A rough let's, idea. Let, of how let's let's, are let's roll. do a rundown of the quinceanera day, and we'll you know a couple of weeks before the quinceanera. We'll sit down and we'll kind of just talk about the quinceanera, just any last minute details that I need to know, that I need to prepare my team for. Because the last thing I want to do is be bugging my client. Hey, what's next? What's next? Number one, that looks super unprofessional. You know what I mean? And number two, I it's not just me. I have my crew, like the crew that works with us. And so if if I brief them like, hey, all right, so we're gonna do this, 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 and this, this, this is the outline of the day. Everybody knows what what they gotta do, where they gotta be, and you know Correct. what's happening. So me having a having a schedule is something that that I recommend you know have. And if your photographer, you know, if, they, if, if your photographer doesn't have do that for service for you, then you might want to ask them, or you might want to create a. Uh, they, you know, schedule yourself and say, hey, here's a rough idea of what we want to do. The timeline, right? the timeline for the event. Because one of the things is like, they, the, the clients, usually, the first thing they chop off if they're running late is the photos and the video. Like, that's happened to me, it's happened to us plenty of times. Where we go and they're running late and they'll be like, oh, no, 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 we can't do photos oh, right don't now. Don't worry about it, no, we're not going to do this, <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> and we just keep going and like like i said like for for the video that we we chose or we want to do for them it's that experience and that you know capturing those, these moments and these moments in time so by telling a story we have to like really go into depth of who they are what they do and it takes time right and most of the stuff that we shoot for the continue that we don't do it the day of the day of we try to minimize the stuff we have to do because there's a lot of moving parts there's a lot of things that are happening and we have a lot of gear that we got to be moving around, right? <laughs> yes. So, and um, for that sake, you know, we always try to, if we can record it before, we'll do before, if not after, right? Depending on what we're doing. And that's kind of like to, to build the story, to build this, this story for these, for these people. So like everything and time is, is essence, right? But we also like, we're so, we're lenient with people and we're, we're easy easy going and laid back because we want them to have fun because a person that's having fun on camera it's the best picture it's the best video it's the best thing that can happen and yeah it. and and a tip i like a pro tip pro tip I'm just kidding. pro tip, <laughs> a pro, of tip pro tip of the day is hey, it's for the parents this is this is for the parents like if you guys if they're able to like um get somebody to help them out a system with like doing all the duties of the day, like if they can create a group of three or four people that will assist them, like kind of like event planning, they're doing the planning, making sure everything's already at the venue and stuff like that. And enjoy the day with the quinceanera, with their it's daughter. Apparent. Yeah, basically not, not. it's not supposed to be a stressful day. Right? Exactly. Because you could pretty much uh, spread it out. Mm -hmm. You, you know, delegate I mean, it to other people yeah. that you trust and they'll get it done for you and you, yeah. you enjoy the day. Because when we go, we, you know, most of our clients want us to like kind of get a bit of pieces of the makeup done and stuff like that. And 
and we're just there and a lot of the a lot of the quinceañeras like nowadays it's just a different generation of people they don't like it's kind of hard for people to socialize them you know so they're on their phone they're doing their they're getting their makeup done and they're like this but their eyes are down and they're just like texting and so it's when you put a camera in front of them it it makes it hard for them to like even just talk to you especially if they don't know you you know what i mean even so for the pictures it's yeah even not, for the pictures like just proper. smile like sometimes like i like that's the word of the day i say <laughs> smile <laughs> smile smile you know what i mean and so like if the parents are with with in that process with her that day getting ready enjoying the morning you know whatever it is it, it makes it a lot easier for for the flow of the day and it's just like you guys are just focusing on your daughter and and making sure that she's you know well taken care of and i think that's one of the, one of the things that a lot of parents you know bypasses enjoying that moment with with your daughter that day how important would you guys say that there has to be a good coordination between the dj and the video video guy and the picture guy what what do you think um Well, I think it's very important. It's super important um, because the the if you're a good DJ, you're the one that's in charge of the reception, right? The reception is all you. So I think being able to work, having a relationship with a good DJ, you know, having that relationship, you're able to work more, um, you know, fluent. It's gonna go a lot easier and kind of just you know talk about you know what the schedule looks like i think that's that's super super cool and then you know so there, we've been to event venues where the dj doesn't even want to talk to us <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <It> happens. <laughs> they, they're like they, you know we try like hey man can we uh, you know can we plug into your mixer for the audio recordings for the mics like they just say no and they sabotage us <laughs> yeah and then they're like <laughs> they'll, they'll put up the gain and then there your audio just is trash mess up our audio and you know it's trash. so we, we did an all that alternative and because now, of that reason and th this is why i bring it up because people those are things that they don't look at they think that oh i'm gonna hire this guy i'm gonna hire this guy i'm gonna hire this guy and it's all gonna magically come together mm -hmm. negative that happens <laughs> you know happen. what is the most important thing about the supreme media team that we are a team like you said we brief before the event okay we know what's going on from five to six six to seven and so on and so forth now for a dj setup there's lights going on right but i know when it's time to cut those off because you guys are going to start recording an important scene of the movie right other djs they don't know that You know, they just play the song and they go take a break, go have something to eat and come back in an hour. You know what I mean? That's the the difference that, you know, that's yeah, why. You gotta be familiar with your surrounding and what's going on. Yeah, and then uh, honestly, you know, if as for references, go go to an event that the DJ is playing, you know, or, you know, so, something like, even the, the photographer, like, who do you know? Like, you know, if have you guys worked together before? Like, those are all good questions that, as a client, you should ask. Because at that point, you know if you're hiring a pro or not. You know what I mean? Like, hiring a professional is, is something that 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 is very important in that case because that's, those are your main things. Like, you know, if you don't hire, uh, like, you know, the DJs, like, They mess up people's last names or people, but like you have time to study this. You know what I mean? Right. That's part of, that is part of the homework. Right? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, yeah, but generally, generally, like, well, if you're a prepared DJ, like for example, you Jesse, you send out, um, you know, a, 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 a questionnaire and like, you know, it has a customer tell you everything that you need to know for that for that of reception. Course. And so, at that point, I mean. If, if if you don't do that as a DJ or if you don't do that as a videographer, you know, ask questions, guys the right questions, you know, clients won't tell you information that because they don't know what you need. Correct. <laughs> And so uh, we've been to we've been to weddings, we've been to quinceañeras, we've been we've done it, we've been it all where like you get good DJs and you get really terrible ones. And it's not because you know and it and I'm not I know I I don't want to generalize, but a lot of the terrible ones are um, venue provided DJs, and they're they're not even DJs. They're just people who put a, put a song, you know, press a song. You know what I mean? 
And so we've been to a couple where like like the the, the dancing is terrible. Like we, we did we did a couple one where like by nine o'clock, <laughs> like you said, like nine I've o'clock, seen it. nine o'clock, I've seen it. nine o'clock, you know? the, the wedding, the, the wedding or quinceanera, is, like the party's over. It's, it's over because when really nine o'clock, the party is starting. It's right? starting exactly. I mean, I would be sad if that would have been my quinceanera, or my wedding where. You know, my friends are telling me, hey, I'm gonna go because so and so is having another quinceanera. <laughs> Let me go see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I know but DJ Supreme was playing. Yeah, yeah. When, right? I, when, I, when I was like 15, that's what exactly what happened, dude. Like, I'd go, to, like, we don't know, like, back then, when, I mean, like, I'm gonna say 15 years ago, right? When I was 15, 16 years old, like, quinceaneras were like a real big thing, like, at least for, for me. And so, like, everybody around the age, like, 15 years old, like they already, they had all their quinceañeras like back to back, you know, during school. So like, and then you knew people from other schools who were having quinceañeras that same day. So you'd be like, the first thing you would ask as a who's 15, playing? 16, who's playing? who's playing? Are you having the DJ? Nah, I'm not going. <laughs> Is <laughs> it good? Nah, let's go. <laughs> so back then, back then, se usaba mucho. La Tecnobanda is when salió like the Tecnobanda stuff. Mm-hmm. And man, that was like that was the that was the trend to to uh, because back then the, the Norteño bands, man, they, they were expensive. Like you know, compared they still are, they still are but uh, but when you compare it to like the pricing wise, like it was much cheaper hiring a Tecnobanda than it was hiring a Norteño, you know what I mean? Or or a banda or whatever. And so like so that was one of the biggest things, like the music. And you're right. If if the 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 venue or the the party has terrible music, you're just gonna have a terrible experience, a terrible party. You know, like we've been to a couple of venues, parties like that. that. I'm gonna say something that nobody thinks about. As a 15, 16 year old, you're not allowed in clubs. Yeah. So the closest to a club theme that you have was a. Quinceañera. As a quinceañero, <laughs> is a quinceañera. That's right, that's right. Right? So, you gotta play what they want. Yeah. That's how you keep them connected. That's how you want them to dance and for the video to come out real nice, you know, where everybody's partners. It's, really fun. it's all about, you know, I think I think what a lot of, what a lot of you know, professionals in our industry, they don't, they don't really, um, how can I say like actualizarse? They don't. They don't. They don't update. They don't, don't update. update. They don't update. They're, 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 they're doing the same thing they were doing 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, they're the same songs that were playing 10, 15 years ago. They're doing the same motions, and yeah. it's more just like it's just another job. It's just another gig, and like we all, everybody can get, get caught up on that. Everybody can get caught up on the, on the whole. It's just another gig. It's just another quinceañera, because time or, time after time. We see the same dances, the same walls, the same. It's just different people. <laughs> you know, different yeah, and that's, days, and that's one thing Sergio was saying earlier about the videos. It, well, I remember one day we were just sitting in the office, and Sergio was like, "Man, I, I'm getting kind of bored. I like, feel I, like this is the same, same video, video, just with different people, just a different little girl." So one day, so one day, basically, I was on TikTok, right, and I saw this guy, this guy's video, and I was like, "Wow, like, that's really, really cool." So you know, and and I started kind of looking more into his story about. You know who he was, how long he's been doing it, blah blah blah, right? And so I came up with a video of his on on his YouTube channel where it said basically I'm, you know, I almost quit w- wedding filmmaking. And so I looked at it and basically it was the same thing Sarjo was w- was experiencing, that it was just like the same video, just different people, you know, same shots, wedding, you know, hanging dress, uh, the, uh, the the slow motion of the exterior of the venue, you know, <laughs> just like the centerpieces, <laughs> details, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? And so he talked about how he shift from um, doing those cinematic shots because again, that's something that right now it's still a current trend. It's still something that is is popular to story making, right? And those are two different things. Like story making, uh, make when you make when you make a movie, when people when there's there's a plot, there's a beginning. You know when in like 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 in English you know, when you learn you know you know there's a beginning 
there's uh, the climax and there's the end. You know, there's what what. So that's what that's what we 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 started looking into. How are we gonna create this? Because not every family is the same. Not every family you know thinks the same. Not every family participates the same. So so that's what we we really started to seeing is the necessity of doing this because that's way that way you only make your video each client each of our clients video is unique to them there's no there's no there's no equals like everything is 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 different the way they talk the way they the way the relationship is you can tell in the videos like the difference you know what i mean obviously when a client contacts you is because they probably saw something that caught their eye yep. either they saw it, you know <clears throat> one of your social media pages um, what would you tell a new client that doesn't know what to expect from the supreme experience well i mean just i i when i have clients who who sit down and it actually that's a good question because it actually happened the other day where a client came in and and he they didn't know like they've been following us they had been following us for a while okay. um and 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 they wanted they ended up you know deciding to go with us and and when they came in they sat down the mom was like yeah i want i want the photo i want the video and the the quinceanera and the dad were like nah just the photos just the photos because they were under they are under that idea that everybody else is that you're just gonna get a slow motion reel etc etc <laughs> So then Sergio was just over here, just minding his own business, right? <laughs> and he was just listening to what they were saying. And so I played a clip for them on one of our, you know, recent quinceañeras. And like, you literally saw like their face, like they, for like 10 minutes or, you know, that no, wasn't 10 minutes. It was just like, you know, four minute clip that I showed them. Like they were just, they didn't say nothing. Like they were just like, watching watching they were intrigued like you could tell I, it was like it was one of those first times where like i saw like the the reaction of people who don't really know what's going on like they they're like wow like when they when they saw it the guy the dad was immediately like okay yeah we'll do the video <laughs> because he saw the value right he saw the value in the video and he, he saw the the amount of work it, it would it would it would take well he doesn't know the amount of work well he doesn't know personally, yet but he's like he was intrigued by the video and because the story i mean it wasn't a story like a wonderland story it's the story of the little girl and how she wanted her video and how she wanted her quinceanera and how she wanted to like tell the story of she wants to tell people how my quinceanera is you know mm -hmm. and like you said well, we want to make create a story. Why do we want to create a story for these for these little girls? Well, the the reason is because they will share it with their kids and their generation, their future generations. You know, and this is something you can look back onto and and see that you know that that you're you had a special moment in time, right in life, and and I think most of the stuff, Jerry, that's that, that why things are changing and why things are are. People are looking for something new. Like, this is not a new trend. It's something that's, it's not, re we didn't reinvent anything. It's just, <laughs> it was there, it's been there, and nobody just uses it. We're just applying it. We're just, just, we just got the, we looked for this tool, and now we're gonna use the tool. Now we know it's, what it's for. And we're gonna apply it to, to what it's, what is a quinceanera. And I think one of those things, and I was talking to you before, like, how it has changed, and how, what has changed from, what we used to know, how things evolved, and now that we passed like this whole uh, 2020 experience, right, with COVID, um, how many little girls like their quinceanera was stopped to a halt? They couldn't have a party, and then they're like, "What?" Like they were just. Now I'm 17, and now I'm seven. Now I mean, most of them like 17, and now they're doing their quinceanera, but at 17. But we gotta realize that, you know, what what that what that did that that halt did. A lot of people lost family members. A lot of people just you know, it kind of changed the way we want to view things now. Now we want memories. Now we want, um, you know, we lost someone. We didn't go to their funeral. We didn't go to their, you know, all these things that we couldn't do. We couldn't go out. 
And now we're like, damn, like we started to val value the small things, the things we took for granted. And I think quinceañeras were being taken for granted. Yeah. Before COVID, sure, sure. quinceañeras were being taken for granted. And now it's like, okay, look, my quinceañera got halted or X or somebody's quinceañera didn't happen because of uh, the shutdown. But now, you know, now they're going to do it. So when it's this, this new quinceañeras, these new little girls that saw this, they're like, you know what? I'm gonna make the best out of it. And I want the memories there. Yeah, and we also, like I, I tell some of my clients and we've had clients who, who we done their, their either their wedding or their, their, um, their quinceañera and some of the family members are no longer alive. You know what I mean? And so like a lot of the times, like people don't realize it. And we don't like to think cause it's just natural. Like sometimes that's the last time all, you're going to be able to gather all those same people in the same, in the same room. You know what I mean? You don't realize it. You, that's something you don't wake up and think about like, hey, you know. But the reality is, is that that's the truth. That's that's bound to happen. You know, we're going to lose family members or may, maybe we'll be, the only, we'll be the ones being missed. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of the times that's the lasting memory you'll have of this, of this individual or this person. And, and that's what we, we really want to uh, capture. That the video connects with the people that are going to wa watch the video. We have to make a connection. We have to get some, some dialogue going. We got to get some emotions out there, um, some special moments. And us as like, a, uh, like the filmmaker, the video maker, whatever we want to call ourselves, <laughs> we have to like um, look for those ideas, those cues. And we do ask a lot of questions and we're really nosy. <laughs> but I think because we want to really understand where they're coming from yep. and meet them there and be able to make a video that they're going to enjoy and that, that it's going to match their needs, right? That it's going to match what they, that what they see, or what they want. Yeah. So like no two videos are like what we do. No two videos are like, you know, we just, we want to be able to make it, you know, say, same as the pictures. There's clients that want specific pictures in specific places. We make it happen. I, I like, I, I always say like, you know, let's go, let's go because this is, this is a once in a lifetime experience for you. You know, like, let's go, let's go take this photo. Let's go. We've gone to, we've even gone as far as going to Mexico because the quinceanera wanted a specific photo in a specific place. And you know, let's you gotta do make it. it happen. You got to make it happen. I'm, I'm a firm believer that like, I don't, I don't, we don't charge by hour. You know, we don't charge by time. We charge by what we, what we're worth, right? What we, what we believe we're worth, right? So <clears throat> sometimes clients ask me like, oh, you know, how many hours do I get in the package? You gave me all day. Like that's, I'm yours. That's, I'm yours. <laughs> like if you want me to start at five, I could probably be there at five thirty. I just kidding. <laughs> no, no. But realistically, like I don't. There's not a. There, there's not a set time because why? Why? Because I'm not. I can't put a limit or I cannot hurry you up. I cannot hurry up your your like the fact that sometimes it gets to a point where people are feeling emotions. People are enjoying the time, and you genuinely see that on camera. Right? And so if I'm over here like rushing these people, let's do it, let's do this now because I gotta go. Right? I gotta go. Are they really gonna enjoy it? No, no, probably not. not right? Yeah. So we, we live the moment with them. Yeah, we, we wanna live the moment with each party, each family we go to. We wanna live that experience and be like, wow. Like we've, we've, had, a, we've had a lot of fun in some quinceaneras. Like a ton of fun. Like they're, you know, they're very welcoming. You know, they're really participative. They're, they, they like to, they like, they're enjoying what they're doing and that makes our job a lot more fun. And we want to be able to experience this with them. And so I just think it just works out better in the, in the long run. I mean, for them and for us and we enjoy it. And we, we look back at some quinceaneras, we're like, yeah, hey, remember when we did that? That was a lot of fun. Like we look at the old videos, you know, kind of like reminisce what's going on, but I'm pretty sure you have some fun quinceaneras. Yeah, yeah of course. I, I obviously <laughs> I want to enjoy every single event I have. Especially the yeah, picking yeah. up. <laughs> no, um, setting up, getting going. You said something real, real important. Uh, family members, I, I mean, you better believe that if you have an uncle that you haven't seen in 20 years, he's gonna show up for somebody's yeah, quinceanera. Yeah. That's just the reality. <laughs> you know, true, I know true. how to deal with you know? Oh, so, man. you know what? 
better way to have that memory than your yeah, kids yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. you know i mean and, and it's for the whole family you know yeah. of course it's for the quinceanera most importantly but anybody could see it at any given time like we talked about earlier family members are far away that couldn't assist grandma here you go you know here's a link log on you know check, check out download yeah. the photos you know because now, now like it's different like it's not back then where they used to give you like an album like this thick you know <laughs> padded <laughs> padded with that liston that they used to put around the edge <laughs> now it's all digital files you know digital files and you do some prints and stuff like that but it's all digital files you can you can send the pictures to anywhere around the world you know really in reality and you get that you have a smartphone you can check out your photos anytime you know so and we try to load them to your social media yeah, yeah well, we try, we try to facilitate yeah. a lot of for our clients um and you we do we i don't i don't believe in having paper not you know just it's just something that it's just a less of a hassle for 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 me and the client kind of like you know but yeah i mean overall like i think there needs to be a real change in the way us as professionals do things for our clients i think that we need to update ourselves i think we need to find ways every quinceanera to become a better photographer a better videographer a better dj um because our clients deserve the best you know what i mean they deserve the best from us they deserve the best at every event regardless if we agree with them or not or we we like their event or not we like their venue or not like it doesn't matter they're hiring us to do to perform a job and you know sometimes we see other vendors and i'm just like you know they're arriving late they're arriving late and they're not there or they just don't show up or yes like it's it, not, <laughs> we see it all guys it's just keep it real you know it's just we're like, not gonna say no names no no it's just it's not it's it not shaming anybody because there's there's <laughs> no, a lot there's a lot of different reasons as to why that happens sure. but i think if you want if you're a professional you have to own up to to your name your brand like that's why i tell sergio like i'm very nitpicky with with like specific things like like as far as the videos and the photos and this dude always tells me like hey you're taking too much i'm like no dude because it's it's it's, our, it's what we do man and so like at the long at the long run it's it, it will pay off you know what i mean it'll pay off the long hours at the office the long hours you know, hopefully, you know, one day we, we get to travel. That's that's honestly like our goal and, and, you know, travel and get to know people and get to know other places and other cultures and stuff like that. And and that's that's really what, what we want to do um, as far as like, you know, no other quinceañeras, I guess. <laughs> Sergio, also known as camera guy, any tips that you want to give our audience for your upcoming quinceañera as your point of view? of a guy holding the camera and recording everything smile. he's able to see <laughs> <laughs> besides the one of his smile, smile of course no i think like um like for the quinceanera mm -hmm. itself i mean like, like i said just get to know your camera guy get to know the guy that's you know behind there um be very like uh outgoing be somebody that you know you gotta be you gotta be comfortable for the person that's filming you right um maybe not build a relationship but be very like you know uh, participant participate participate because he is the one that's gonna know and show and show you what to do and what to, what to do here and there in order to make the right like the right get the right scene or at the right mood um, there's a lot of things that happen like that we're looking at technical stuff and sometimes you know we, we don't get the best shot but you know we try we try our best and you know, like I, I tell clients when I meet, like if hey, if you ever, have you ever watched a movie that's terrible? Because the actors are terrible. You know what I mean? Like it's just, that's true. Like it's it's it's. Well, it's, it's it, I, I don't say like that you're terrible. I just mean it as in, it's how you participate is what we're able to film. Because we don't film, we film documentary style. So if your face is like you know like oh, I don't want to be here, that's what's gonna show. I can't. I, we cannot change that. a bad day. You know? It's yeah. gonna show on the camera. It's gonna show. You're gonna, and and that's the really memory fix. you're gonna have. Like that's that's I the can't reality. Really fix that. You know, you just you gotta make the best out of it. Yep. So if you have a bad day, try to make your day. Best. Just let those five minutes go away and then continue on your day, right? So. What about you, Jerry? A tip what that up? you might have for upcoming quinceañeras? Man, organization. 
that's that's really that's a that's a key part and in, in, in not having bad days not and really like being organized being not bad days bad moments five minutes five, bad five minutes. usually they last five minutes <laughs> yeah being organized really really be organized um, uh, to your day you know listen to your what your photographer tells you <laughs> no no just what suggestions like I tell my clients like I'm gonna suggest this if you don't want to do it at the end of the day, it's your call. It's your party, your call, your day, right? But these are my suggestions for you because I've already done this so many times and I know what works. So well, being organized, you know, hire an event planner, enjoy the day, you know, that's the that's the way that you can guarantee that your day will, will, will flow much better. If just be organized, you know, like be detail oriented and stuff like that. So, um, and as far as the quinceañeras, like just smile. Like, you know, so enjoy just, it. just enjoy it. Like, yeah. enjoy being pampered, enjoy, you know, not having to lift up one finger that day, you know what I mean? But really, really, really just enjoy the moment because for everybody, that's the only time. That's For every quinceanera, you only get one shot to do this, and that's it. Now, everybody, uh, we have free consultations. Um, we have a lot of material that you guys could see to see our work. You know, um, we have options for everybody, you know, different price ranges, and that's for video, photos, and DJ. We are the one stop shop para todos en Tucson, Arizona. Hablamos español 100%. Yo soy Jesse, also known as DJ Supremo. Sergio. Camera guy. Soy so, el, el, aquí me dicen el Supreme Leader. Supreme the Supreme Leader. Leader. <laughs> the Supreme Leader. Supreme <laughs> Leader. Okay. Well. So, um, you know, follow us on, on our Facebook. Instagram, YouTube. We're Facebook, everywhere. Supreme Media Studios. You know. Okay, so that wraps it up. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we have a different topic every, every week. And uh, like and subscribe. Once again, DJ Supremo, The Supreme Connection, we're out. <laughs>